Good evening everybody, how are y'all doing? What a day, it, this heat wave that we're having, it's really hit us here today. I mean it's 21 degrees now at nearly 9 o'clock at night. He's absolutely battered from it. Oh god. I mean I've had me, me nan down today, she popped down for a visit and we took him for a walk and that was a bad idea. <laughs> So I've had to wait until it's a bit dark and there's a bit of a breeze, a bit of a cooler breeze because I couldn't sit at this desk filming earlier when it was like 25, 26, no way. So I'm going to do something that's a bit easier, still game. <laughs> but before we get into it, I just need to let everybody know, Limmy's show is now officially a Patreon show because last night I did an episode of Limmy's show and I tried to upload it. Um, and it was partially blocked in, guess where? I'll give you three guesses. No? The United Kingdom and Ireland and Russia, but I couldn't give a fuck about Russia. So, and there's nothing you can do. I've appealed it before. The last uh, Looney show that we did, it was the exact same thing. I appealed it, rejected. This is under appeal, I think. Have I appealed it? Oh. So, yeah, it's going to have to be a Patreon show because... There's nothing I can do about it on YouTube now. But it'll be available in the in the one dollar a month tier. So it's only fair. Anything any any show that, that happens to goes in the one dollar a month tier automatically, like eight pence a month. So uh yeah, go join the Patreon to get the Looney Show reactions. You don't even pay anything for the first seven days either. And don't forget we've got the prize draw coming up and we've got a poll for a movie. But uh let's go. Still game. Wadding. Pension day, yeah? Highlight of the week. Highlight of the week. Yeah, it's piss poor. <laughs> oh, I'm not stunning me in that. Yeah. We have me, um... No, we have me, no. No, we have me, no. Me, no. Why, oh? Wet. You up for it? You have me wet. Post off a special. Always, my friend, always. Ready? Ready. What are you about to do? Oh, oh, oh Jesus! Oh man! The no way he did that. <laughs> it's like a oh, pantomime. <laughs> Honestly, how dramatic was that? Seriously. I think I found that time over there. False alarm. <laughs> Right is right. Lovely. <laughs> oh, Victor McDade, as I live and breathe. Jack Jarvis, the man himself. Excuse me. Oh, easy. What? What's the matter with you? Ah, oh, shut up. Ah, <laughs> yeah, shut up. What is that? What is that smell, hey? Naughty, wait. naughty. Don't tell us. My friend here has a nose for perfumes, don't you, Jack? Indeed I do. It's never let me down, either. Off you trot. Brute 33. <laughs> I'm a woman! Old Spice? <laughs> oh, still more joy. <laughs> Got it. Hi, Karate! Hi, Karate! Uh, well, you'll have to forgive me the day, sweetheart. Bunged up with a call, do you see? Here's your £78, Mr Jarvis. Of course, in reality, it's only £58, is it no, Jack? Is that accurate? Is that about, about pretty much dead on? to what the pension was in this era, 2003, 2004, 78 pounds a week. Because if it is, then that's bullshit. How can you expect someone to live off 78 pound a week? Especially a pensioner. Hey, that's right, because that's all I have left after I've paid you and I into the plaza. <laughs> Case in point, you know, my grandparent, my granddad, you know, he's never out of doctors or hospital. And if it wasn't for my mum, or before he had his accident and wasn't able to drive anymore, if it wasn't for the fact that he was able to drive and had a car, the amount of money he'd have been spending on buses and taxis to all these appointments. So, if that is the actual pension back then, and you're a pensioner, and you're more likely to be going to the doctors or the hospital quite often than any other age group, you're going to be spending all your money on going to the... That's ridiculous. Is that actually the pension? £78 a week back then? Wow. <laughs> Don't get me started. Yes, indeed. Let's not make this political. Bye. See you later, sweetheart. Thanks for that. Hi, <laughs> Jack. 
Oh no, no, that doesn't miss Snorgy. <laughs> oh, oh no, that doesn't miss Snorgy. <laughs> Too late, Tom. Too late, Tom. <laughs> Hurdy-gurdy-gurdy in the windy books. Oh. Victor! Got an itchy foot. Victor! What, Jack? You really see this? Come on, hurry up before it goes away. Now, that there boy is a right? Four slices. It's got the crumb tray in it. Cool touch walls. See, that's the Rolls Royce of toasters. Alright. Oh, this is the one with the toaster in it. I remember, I distinctly remember an episode where Jack just constantly keeps going on about a bloody toaster. Yeah. But not much else. Alright, well. Anything will be better than that heap of shit that you've had for the last 40 years. <laughs> Served me well, that. Alright, that's a thorn. Let's get three thorn. seconds Aye. Black, black, and bunk. <laughs> Let's go three seconds that. Aye. Black, black, bump. <laughs> We've all had a toaster like that, haven't we? Oh. So you, Isa, where are you off to? Navids. I'm away today, my shift. That was close. We got off lately there. Tenson, I'm glad I caught you there. Come I was literally just about to say, don't be too sure. I completely forgot to tell you. Tell me what, Isa? Well. I never buy the times. There's usually nothing in it you haven't read in the real papers. Just the same old news again. How isn't the times real papers? Isn't the times like one of the oldest newspapers in Britain? I forget which is the oldest. It's not the get fuck the Guardian. They can fuck off. Uh, but which is it? Is the Times the oldest? Or is it the Herald? No, not, not not there. Uh, the mirror. Oh, I don't know. Later on, rubbish really, and there's no point buying twice for it. Anyhow, <laughs> don't ask me why, but I bought one, and I was fucking thrilled. It's something like to do. What are you doing, man? Pressing me. I'm trying to fast forward you to the punchline. Oh! Get to the end of the story. I will. I was flicking through it. The end. At the intimation set. The end, mind. Wally McIntosh is dead. Thank you. Thank you. Ha ha ha! Oh dear. Come in, my door was open. <laughs> Just come in. Oh, look at that, eh? Foxy's classics. Yeah, you got a right snobby, poofy biscuit at Jack's, didn't you, Victor? I brung them. Did you? I tasty though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, eh? Fox is classic. Yeah, you get a right puffy, snobby biscuit at Jack's, didn't you? I brung them. Did you? I tasty though. <laughs> and also, there's nothing wrong with Fox's classics. And you can't find them anywhere. I haven't had Fox's classics for like, it must be 10 years. I haven't seen them anywhere. And I'm sure they still sell them. If anyone knows where to buy them, tell me, because they used to be one of my favourites. They're the, like the Fox's chocolate, it's like a biscuit and it's got like a cream in the middle. Not cr like cream cream, but it's like a white, a bit like uh, the stuff that you get on top of like a, a butterfly bun, is it called? You know what I mean? But not that soft. Can't find them anywhere. Um, if anyone knows, oh, look at tell that, me. eh? Foxy's classics. Yeah, you got a right snobby, snobby puffy, puffy biscuit at Jack's, didn't you, snobby Victor? I brung them. Did you? I tasted it. Did though. you? I tasted it. The um, oh, mm, you know the chocolatey way that they. That's oh, mm. <laughs> Willie McIntosh is dead. Me? Aye. Eyes are showed me in the paper. Died in the hospital. Where do they plant them? No, no. The service is on Thursday. Rest in peace, but... That bastard was into me for 30 quid. Well, I'm getting mine. I fitted a gas cooker for him and he's yet to square me up for it. Aye, I lent him something. What was it again? I can't remember. I, I definitely did lend him something. Though. Your glasses? Yeah. He was a scrounging bastard. Your slippers? <laughs> he was a scrounging bastard. Is that you? Oh, is that mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Is me. that you? Oh, yeah. Oh, magic. Magic. No, no, that's pure quality. No, no, thanks very much. Thanks. 
Meena. What's up? That's the car sorted. Mercedes Benz. S class. Fantastic, huh? Mm. And okay. Oh, don't get too excited, asshole. <laughs> Again, the era, the S class around this point, it was groundbreaking. Like, literally, the, the things that that. There's tech that that thing had on it. Wow. Oh, stop it, Mina. I'm shitting. S class. Fantastic, huh? Been okay. Oh, I don't get too excited. excited. Oh, stop it, Mina. I'm shitting myself. Look at me quaking in my boots. Come ahead then, Mina. Huh? Come ahead then. Come ahead then. You can give me a kicking when you move your fat ass off that stool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the Macintosh, the garbage chef, the Martinis, seat. man talks to his wife like that. Huh? <laughs> what about the chap blood in his head? Oh, Billy Macintosh. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, Mina. Ha uh ha. -huh. What does he put that on, Billy Sorry. Macintosh? Oh, Maria. Who? He was literally a scrounging, scrounging shithead. Ha. <laughs> 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 Ah. Take <laughs> me 11 quid. That's gypsy oh. queens up two pence a packet. <laughs> That's me done then. Oh, right, oh, Isa. Here, you the phone there. You, you've got your cars in for the... Yes, Isa, the wedding. Wedding. The wedding, yes. Mercedes Benz. S-class. 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 -class. -class. Luxury. Luxury. So what days you want me in next week, Navid day, the Monday Wednesday? I mean, it's so obvious, the fact that she thinks she's even remotely subtle. <laughs> I love Isa. Friday. Oh, no, Isa, no Friday. No, no, I, the wedding right. The wedding right. Right, Isa, let's you and me dispense with the verbal sparring. Now, <laughs> next Friday is the wedding of the year in our community. Everybody who is anyone will be there. The Jeffers family are going. The Sings are going. The Kumar. Is the MP for Craig Lang going? Is Nicola Sturgeon going? He said anybody who's anybody, like high society, that's usually what that means. When really it's just a few people that he knows. Hmm? <laughs> Even the Ashoka people are coming. Yeah. And a few valued customers from the shop will be invited. Now, you, Isa, are a nosy bastard. Only you wait here a minute, my feet. Fact. Not in, sir. It's true. It is only natural you should peddle around angling in the desperation to be one of the lucky few. Now, in one of these envelopes is your wages from last week. And in the other, an invite to the Asian Society wedding of the year. Pick the one and forfeit the other. Hmm? No! Pick the one and forfeit the other. <laughs> Hmm? <laughs> Look at the state of you eyes are all jangly. I'm only pulling your pisser. Here goes for you. <laughs> See, you get four slice all in That feels familiar as well. And then gold and... <laughs> there at the same time. And they're toasting simultaneously, the same time as all the rest of them. Jack, for God's sake, give the toaster a break, eh? <laughs> He's excited! Well, the Macintosh, eh? Aye. He was in my class at school. Snottery wee bastard, you know. <laughs> I had a nosebleed. Snottery wee bastard, you know. Always had a nosebleed. Hey, family. I wish I could remember what to... Uh, you know, that is... Definitely one of the things that we've all experienced. Every single one of us knew at least one person at our school, one kid, who was always having nosebleeds. It's funny, I, I'm pretty sure you could ask anybody and they'd know someone and remember a kid that had nosebleeds all the time. It's like it's on purpose. It's just everyone knew someone who did it. I never had them. Doesn't Winston have a key for his house? Aye, he does, aye, because he was feeding the cat when Wally was in the hospital, aye. So we could get in, if we wanted to. Yeah, wait a minute, you. You're not suggesting we got up there and rummage through a dead man's house. 
Aye. <laughs> Aye. That's a cracking idea, eh? But I'm not having any family. Well, it's now in a perfect rummaging scenario. A perfect rummaging <laughs> scenario. I'm a boot. I'm do the first thirty quid. Oh, that's a given, eh? Hello, Matt. Oh, Jesus, Isa. That's my. She a fucking ghost. <laughs> Matt and Tosh did. For once, your information. You never hear a coming. Hand. Aye, Winston, tell us. Terrible, eh? Aye, it's bad, aye. Aye, aye. it's terrible, aye. Terrible thing to say, but there he's did and never give me back a good colour gas heater I lent him. Really, aye? That wasn't like him, eh? Aye, dearly, if there was a key, I could get up there and get it back. Aye, you could right enough, Isa. Aye, if there was such a thing as a key, aye. Aye, a key would be, uh, would be handy. Hello, Winston. I was just saying there, Winston, while he had my heater, a key would be handy. I've got a key. Oh! <laughs> For my house, which is handy for getting in and out, because otherwise I'd have to use the windy, which would be pish. That's smashing for you. I'll away. <laughs> I just noticed, Greg. I don't. Uh, if that was in the script, like, how close. Uh, watch. Just watch. Watch I'm Greg. Oh. Watch his face. For my house, which is handy for getting in and out, because otherwise I'd have to use the windy, which would be pish. That's smashing for you. I'll away. That look real. Did I for I forget? Real laughter. Oh. Have a look at this. <laughs> what is that? That, boys, is an invite to Navid's daughter's wedding. I heard about that, you jammy bastard. <laughs> How did you get your hands on that? He's inviting a few select friends and customers. Aye, well, he better be inviting me, cos I'm never out of his shop. Aye, I'm a select friend and customer. Half my bloody pension goes in his till. See his after. Jammy old boot. <laughs> Have you been asked? No yet, but I'm gone. I'm definitely gone. Jammy old boot. That? Never you mind. Let's just say, Willie Mac has left me a gift for the grave and I'll begin up to get it. Aye, well, we'll be going along with you. We borrowed a lot of stuff off a lot of people. Now, we'll need to start a list, eh? Uh... A list? Oh, that's lovely. Aye, <laughs> nice wee breeze. Aye, yep. uh, nice wee breeze. Look at the state of that old fam. What was Winston on about, eh? All oh, that gift for the grave pish. Aye. <laughs> uh, well, maybe Wally had a shotgun behind him. Maybe he's going to blast his way into the <laughs> wedding. Eh? <laughs> I'll tell you something, Greg. It will kill me if that bastard gets going. Oh, I absolutely have a crazy. Whoa! Fucking hell! Get pedal! Duck off us! Get out of your dozy pedal! You blind, you bastard! Victor <laughs> Jack! How about you? You're looking well. How about you? You're looking well. He didn't drive in a van. I was up at the cash and carry from... Navid. <laughs> You're angling for an invite, you window. No, I was just been neighbourly. Oh, aye. Aye. I'm pretty daft. I've got to be at that wedding, I can't miss it. Aye, I thought so. Fuck away and don't talk a lot of shit. <laughs> you way, do. Molly McIntosh is deed. Who? <laughs> aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> bastard's got a deep fat fryer belonging to me. <laughs> Old trick. Get it? There's actually a situation where somebody owes Tam something. Where someone borrowed something from him. Wow. Pigs will be flying next. No, I've been nothing that didn't belong to somebody else. Borrowing bastard. <laughs> anyway, they're planting them tomorrow. Mm. What's in the van? Oh, the lot. Here, can I interest you in a couple of bottles of look, is it? No. Look at that bottle design, buddy. Alan. No, take the end, Jaff, at couple of bottles of look as it. Don't like. We're just sitting here <laughs> now. Come on. There they are. Aye, alright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One pound twenty. Ah! You're the piss. You want to charge us for them? Fucking okay, hell. One pound twenty. So that means that you could get a bottle of look as it for 60p then. Jesus Christ. The cheapest I remember him being is about 79 pence. Yeah. And again, I probably said this the first time round, but when I was a kid, the lemon flavour that they did, lemon Lucasade, oh, it was amazing. It was like the best lemon flavoured drink you could buy. And now they stopped doing it. They just do apple, that, orange, 
I think they still do that wild berry as well. And there's that paradise punch or whatever it is. Or is that a monster flavour? And a couple of others. But back then, oh, they were killing it with the flavours. They had like black currant, uh, wild cherry or something. Or is that the one that they still do now? It's like right sickly. But back then, and the lemon one, oh, it was the best. Best drink ever. One pound twenty, come on now. <laughs> right. <laughs> I can't go about giving out Naveed's merchandise for free. You know. I've had my guts for garters come with stock tape. You lousy I've bastard. Go to I've got to think of that invite. Right, come on, move. Aye. Put your mouth bar in your mouth, you prick. Which church is that? Is that in Glasgow? Where is it? And does it still stand? Is it still there? What was eight years ago? danger, Kenny. We'll get that sorted for you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god! Is he tallying up all the things that. What's he want? Yeah, oh, he wants us to retrieve a pair of Wally Dugs. Wally Dugs? Wally Hoover Daff him and get this 1937. What? 37? Jeez, I'm a nine year old. 1937? Honestly, mate, at that point, fucking get over it. Like, if someone's borrowed something off you and you don't get it back within 20 years, might be time to move on. <laughs> 1937! And another thing, Wally Dugs. You can buy them anywhere. I mean, it's not like they're super expensive, is it? It's not like you have to go to Harrods to buy them or something. They're not like porcelain dolls. Just, I mean, there's still been all, you know, shops that are a bit like British Home Stores. Here, you could probably get one, a decent one, for about 15, 20 quid. 1937. So I'm standing outside the Gaumont, waiting to get in to see the Wizard of Oz. And that bastard Wally was punching stuff even back then, eh? This list is getting stupid, Jack. <laughs> the Wizard of Oz came out in 1939, didn't it? Not 1937. But the point still stands. Uh, very apt, Father. Very, very nice and very fitting. Yes, very apt indeed. Very nice and personal. Nice and personal. Well, that was a shower of shite, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, she's just going to me how rang these tits get. Nice and personal. Very apt. Very th very fitting, Father. Well, that was a shower of shite, wasn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Fine, upstanding member of the community. My ass, he's never met Willie in his life. It's not that. He's spouting that shite 12 times a day, you know what I mean? <laughs> Will you be joining us for the meal, gentlemen? Oh, that'd be very nice, eh? Yes, yeah. that would be lovely. Lovely, Father, yes. What would be lovely? We've been invited up for some free scrap. No. Uh, a nice meal, kindly. Kindly. Yes, pie, probably. Free scrap. Uh, oh, no, Father, we can't. Uh, prior engagement. Mm. Hey? Yeah, we're going to pay our respects to Willie privately. Privately? Oh, very often. Uh, oh, see, the thing is, Father, Willie was an awful tapper, you see. Whoa! His, uh, his house is... Cramp packed did all the stuff at Disney Belang him. So while everybody's paying their respects here, we'll go up there and we'll start rummaging. <laughs> <laughs> Like, in our respects here, we'll go up there and we'll start rummaging. <laughs> <laughs> Just like. <laughs> 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 oh, fantastic. Well done, Paul. <laughs> oh, the milk and the. Yeah. I remember this as well. I remember, yeah. Victor, there's Jack. Don't let this ever happen to me. All oh, the milk costs stacked up there, and they would even come in to check on me. That would never happen, Jack. For I would cancel my own milk and simply take yours. <laughs> Free milk. 
Steve Man's milk. There's the gear. Now continue to do so until the relevant authorities corrected that error. I remember this. What's your max? And then this gormless twat turns up. <laughs> grip him, grip him. What's your name, son? Chris. 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 Kieran Chris. Chris. Kieran Chris, Chris, the community, community postman. postman. Take a Take second, second, Chris, Chris and uh, tell, me tell me what's wrong. Tell us all the facts. Tell all the facts fact from this picture. picture. <laughs> Shuttle the milk. Shuttle the milk. What does that tell us about the occupant of the property, Chris? He's no in the milk. He's no in the milk. <laughs> no in the milk. No in the milk. See if you look at the milk closest to the door, Chris. You'll observe that it's no longer milk, but in fact, cheese. <laughs> the flitter box. It, it would appear, appear the occupant is also, also nine in letters. letters. <laughs> That's such. No, Chris. You, you didn't want to prick. Tell us what's wrong with the man that lives in this house. She did. <laughs> she did. <laughs> oh God. How could I forget that legendary interaction? That is one of the best moments in not just still game history, but British comedy history. That is one of the best. You know, that's that, that's up there with the Holy Fool scene where Dell's got Uncle Albert going. <gasps> <laughs> and you know, among others, faulty Basil faulty with the deaf woman. That is the view. Well, it's not good enough. <laughs> you know. Hey boys, check my watches. We've yeah. got an hour before Navid realizes his van's missing. It's up, it's up the there. It's up there. It's up there. My mate Joe's a burglar. <laughs> <laughs> Four slices. Oh, they're Think taking his the toilet seat. <laughs> oh, it's got to be more toast than you would have And his lunch eh? Aye, Jack, aye, you're right. <laughs> I think he's a looking at them. The touch. <laughs> That's a lot of shit, that. It is no, it's shite. not. But that there is... I'd have that on my wall. It's decent. My passport to Pecora. Passport to Bacora. Yeah, I was never that keen on it, you know. Well, I hoached it half me about 20 odd years ago, and now I'm claiming it back and I'm going to get to Navid. He's Taj Mahal daft. See, when he sees that, he's going to be that grateful, I'll find myself one invite up. Yeah, you fly bastard. <laughs> fly bastard! <laughs> Okay, now they've took his bike, his clock, his what looks like the fridge. Jesus. His phone. Yeah, a gravy boat there. Better a gravy the boat! Here. Remember you? Right, seriously. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this the last time as well. If you've lent somebody a gravy boat, that's just like a shitty metal one that you'd find in a cheap curry house. Because literally, I remember a curry house I used to go to, and that's what they'd bring you right at sauce in. If you've lent that to somebody and they haven't give it back, just go and buy a new one, for fuck's sake. I mean, literally, you're talking about four quid's worth of fucking aluminium there, or steel, or whatever it's made of. Just go buy a new one. Jesus. <laughs> what it is you lent them? No, it's doing my nut in and all. Well, you better hurry up and mind, you know. Only the bedroom now, and that's us. <laughs> you know, it's like one of those situations, that one mate who lent you five pound two years ago, and he still mentions it every time it's his round at the pub. <laughs> You know what I mean? People like that. Pathetic. That's the sort to do. That was it. That's what I lent him. <laughs> you mean you forgot you lent him a bloody. A taxidermied raccoon? What's that? It's a raccoon. <laughs> oh, if you want a centre for Canada. Yeah. I mean, I like raccoons. I've always liked it. She never ever liked it, frightened her. But ones that are alive in the Rockies, not stuffed and dead on a random desk in Glasgow. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why I was only too happy to lend it to Willie, you know. They are cute it's though. It's a belter right enough, isn't it? Oh, it is a belter. Hello, you. Aww. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's not enough. Oh, he's not looked after that at all, has he? Yeah, well, who'd he manage today for the RSPCA? <laughs> no, too late for that. I'll hoover up, smash it. Come on, we'll get it in the back. Even 
No, Fitzpatrick couldn't help that. <laughs> oh, you, you cheeky wee monkey. <laughs> no, it's not a monkey, Jack. <laughs> there you are, Alec. This invite is for you and the good lady wife. Magic, now it. Scruff Clyde Police. That's fantastic. And see, keep the wee so some hanging about. Is, is that the area of Glasgow that this is set in then, like Strathclyde? Outside the shop. I will do. <laughs> so it's like a borough, isn't it? So, it, you know, you, like in London you've got like Fulham, Tottenham, Shepherd's Bush, Hackney, Camden, Cam Camden Town, places like that. Is that what it's like? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hello, gentlemen. A lovely big fella, that, huh? So, do you like the new painting? Oh, it's smashing. Uh, it's my house. Nice covering up your fags, nice. though. Just saying there, I mean, it's a smashing painting the has got up there. Eh, this show's quite ahead of its time. A picture covering up the, the fags in the shop. Give it, what, 2000? About 10 years? Maybe, no, maybe 11, 12 years, and they'll be covering all of them up. Oh, don't ask her anything, ignorant bastard. <laughs> Keep out the 16 chapel was in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so, what can Feed? I do to part? <laughs> ice cream. That's yeah, your pizza. wife. Bubbaloo. For ice cream? For ice cream. And bubbaloo. And bubbaloo. Oh, I'm glad you came in. Steady. <laughs> there you go. I heard him laughing. Post. Delivery boy's office. Dog got killed. That's Dog got killed. Post. That's for whack. That's yes, for whack. That is your whack? Yes, gentlemen. That is your whack. <laughs> right. Right. Fine. German. German. <laughs> I love his laugh. Hey, Billy, keep your special cane, Avid. Billy McIntosh, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. No, I'm no. I are. Everybody I are. Did you know yesterday. No, Avid. I'm no dead. I was in the hospital. But I'm no dead. Aye, sir. Aye. Sure he's dead. <laughs> Aye, sir. Aye. Sure he's dead. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, look at that. In the fridge, there's only four choice of drink. Iron Brew, Tizer, Pepsi or 7-Up. And it's the same with the cans, apart from a... Is that Brit Vic lemonade or something? Oh, and Diet Coke and Tango. That's shite. You know, there's three shops within like a, a 400 metre radius of my house. And the smallest one, there's literally like 25 different varieties of drink. Bloody hell, that takes me back. We buried you yesterday. To when little corner shops like this, or little shops, they just had nothing. Your choice was pe Coke, 7-Up, Sprite, Fanta, or no. <laughs> Do well, eh? And a few others. I was so I'm sorry broke. to hear of your passing, but Dr. you've Pepper. got to move on. You can't even wonder No, Isa! Sure he's dead. Oh, are you? Sure he's dead. <laughs> sure he's dead. We buried you yesterday, Wally. I was so sorry to hear of your passing, but you've got to move on. You can't wander about amongst the living. Your place is in the spirit world now. Go for <laughs> here and rest. It's not rest, I'm need an Isa. It's a box of special key. Isa, give did really as box of special key. <laughs> for the last time, I'm not deep. Like, can I did guy dare us? You did really as box of special key. <laughs> All right, all right. I believe you. All right, I believe you. <laughs> I've got that painting. Oh shit! Here we go. <laughs> oh no! The shit has well and truly just about started to hit the fan. Also, another thing I noticed in the background of that shot: space. There were space raider boxes stacked on top of each other. Ten p a bag. Jesus Christ! What are they now? About a thirty pence a bag or something? Or in you know, a post office shop up the road, you can get a a multi pack of six for a pound, which that makes them what? Hmm. 
But yeah, about the same. But wow. <laughs> On the run. Wilson. They're about triple that price now. Wilson. <laughs> He's an arsehole. <laughs> oh, look who it is, isn't he? Oh, that is fantastic, Pat. <laughs> who do we know the day, you prick? Two lager, you fanny. Who do we know the day, you prick? <laughs> He's still some art with you two. Oh, that big bastard, David. Still hasn't he invited us to that wedding. Oh, really? Brrr. That's sad. Brrr. I, it, you know, yeah. I can't do it then. Oh. I'm a wee. <laughs> well, I'm a wee. Dry my eyes. <laughs> You've to go. You have to, to go, go. we've no you, the black-hearted bastard barman for the clansman. <laughs> the black-hearted well, bastard barman. That's me away, Bobby. Was well, it raining outside, boys, is it? Eh, hey, aye, it's spitting now. Oh, we had a better mind and burn my hat then, eh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jack. I'm lucky, Victor. boys. You're more than welcome to have your invites. Eh? Hey? My sister Mary has to go in for a bypass the night before. Oh, aye, really? I'll be up to high door. We just wouldn't enjoy it, would we, Charlie? No, we couldn't hear Bollocks. No, you're all right, sweetheart. Take them. It's not your kind of thing anyway. Singing and dancing, all that rich food. No, nah, it's not no buying fuss. it. I don't know if it's like an unconscious memory I've got back there in my subconscious, but. She's lying. Ooh. I know it. <laughs> that was all the piss! Come in! Coo. Here you go, you petty, silly old bastards! <laughs> Do you think you'd miss a night out like that? No, 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 I didn't think that you'd miss a night out like that. With a fucking free food. Put <laughs> <laughs> you up on your lap! With your fucking eight jig, eight jig at chops, you kid Bessie. <laughs> but, uh, look, it's funny, eh? We'll get it right up, yous. <laughs> Me and my pal Jack, we wouldn't go down even if you were asked. The humiliation we've had to endure. Eh? Ah. Oh! oh. <laughs> it says, says Victor on it. Back off! Ooh, OK. Back off! Oh, that fucking sitter! <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, it's beautiful. <laughs> My God, if these, if all these people are that desperate to get to have a curry, just go into Glasgow. There must be a curry house somewhere. Fuck it up. Because they're not going for the wedding ceremony, are they? Let's be honest. They're there for the food. Victor and friend on it. I see, shall we? Ah, I love how the gold, the light effect went off as soon as he opened it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you going to wear, Bobby boy? Going to wear a suit? He's gutted, oh, destroyed. A suit, Victor? Oh, yes, a suit, aye. A suit, Victor. Who do you think you are? I'm going to the wedding. Me, I'm going to the wedding. What? No disrespect, Pete, but you are a piss-stained, rancid <laughs> tramp. How in the name of Christ do you get to go at that way? Let me see that. Jack! This is Jack! <laughs> That's my name. Your name's Pete. No, I've always been called Jack. It's a nickname. For what? For Pete. Jack is short for Pete. What? Jack is I'm fun it. I'm fun it. That must have fallen at my racing pole. Pete is short for Pete. Peter! I think you should stop. As uh, Eric was saying at one point, stop injecting absinthe into your tongue. <laughs> That's your invite, Jack. And whatever else you're drinking. You, you smelly bastard. Oops. Probably methylated spirits.
Say the lady, Isa. We were already at Wally's funeral. No, we weren't. He was in the hospital, right? And a nurse comes in, right, and sees Willie McIntosh. Aye. Aye. <laughs> ah, Jesus. So, right. so the both were. The two. Oh, Jesus. Aye. Uh, Aye. Well, he might as well be dead. We've emptied his bloody house. <laughs> I suppose that means we've got to ruin everyone and get all his stuff. That doesn't belong to him. Yeah. And give it back to him. No. No. Uh, no. Right, Isa, you get a table. Nah, I don't. You'll get them in. It, it's not his stuff anyway, so no, you don't. Fuck him. Congratulations. Oh, I'm not glad we're here. I am going to get pissed. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get pissed. We'll be home in a barra. <laughs> you take something to eat? Oh, I am going to eat my weight. See, lying in the stomach means you can drink, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's this? A lot of people like to say that that's a myth, but it's not. It is true. I can definitely vouch for that. When I've gone out drinking on an empty stomach versus when I've gone out drinking on on a stomach with food, there is definitely a difference. Also, I've been able to make an impact on the severity of a hangover as well. By, uh, for every, I think I did it, like, every two pints of lager that I drank, or every four units of alcohol I drank, uh, one litre of water or something like that. Anyway, that when I did that, I didn't have a hangover at all. Water killed it. So I think hangovers are literally just dehydration and nothing else. And then I, try, I, I did it a couple of times when, when I used to go out partying and... Well, I didn't used to go out. It's not right, but you know what I mean. Just a couple of times in the summer. But it worked every time. So, yeah. When you're going out drinking, you don't want to hang over. Make sure you drink at least half as much water. If you're on the lager, then try and match the amount of lager you're drinking in litres by about half in water. And it should just hold it off. Shut. Victor! Jack! Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Aye, 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 no drink at a Muslim wedding, Jack. No drink? Uh, I know. Yeah. Bastard, isn't it? You can have a soft drink. Bastard, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look at you. That's smashing. Aye, very smart indeed, Winston. You look like you fell off a short breed tin. <laughs> <laughs> Proper little Scotland mascot, isn't it? I like the kilt, you know. It's comfy, isn't it? Mm. Also leaves your tackle free to dangle about and all. <laughs> so, Winston, what does a true Scotsman keep under his kilt, eh? At a Muslim wedding. Hey! <laughs> Winston, my boy, came in clutch. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'll have that wee miniature later. I'll have Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> that wee miniature. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey. Tough kid, you know. One, two, three, four slices of toast. Oh, toast no way at one time. Jack. Put the toaster away, eh? Yeah. Let's get our pints. Oh, Jesus. What? Wally McIntosh. <laughs> oh. Hello there, Wally. How are you? You scrounging Aye. bastard. I hear you're no deed. No, you're not getting a Aye. pint. Smashing. Get it up, you. you. Must be chuffed, eh, Wally? Back for the deed. <laughs> well, it's just... We hear you no deed. <laughs> Tan. How oh, was it? Fancy that. Someone went. Someone broke into your house and stole all the stuff that you stu that you borrowed off other people and never gave back. Aww. This it is. My postie seen who done it. The the. What oh, a postie. Well, seen this. Good thing. Keep his mouth shut, isn't he? Four old guys. Four old guys. This. Robin, eh? Took the lot. Can't even make myself a wee slice of toast in the morning. Oh. A coincidence. How convenient that that's the item that you harp over when talking to the lad sat at the table when there's a toaster there. It's almost too good to be true, isn't it? You prick. It's too bad, eh? Hey, well, we can't have that. Can we, Jack? <laughs> Here, Willie. Oh. Take a line of this, you. Oh. It's a four <laughs> slicer. It's like that toaster's his fucking life. 
Oh, no, oh, no, couldn't he? Bullshit! Don't be daft. You were ang angling for it. Wiring. Well, I'll why? Take a wheel on it. What do you mean, wiring? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take a wheel on it. And what I mean by that is, the only way you're going to get it back is if when I die and you come round to my house and you get it. <laughs> You're a bastard, Victor. And more fool you, Jack, for letting him have it. I'd have told him to piss off. Anyway, there we go. That's another episode of Soul Game. And, uh, you know, it's funny. Normally I wouldn't, but I am really glad about how much of this I've forgotten. Because it makes it feel fresh and genuine. And, you know, it is a good thing. But I remember that legendary interaction at the doorstep. How could I forget that? That is just, you know, it goes down in history, that. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this reaction, guys. Um, I'll just remind... So, uh, oh yeah, a couple of things I need to remind you all about. So, I did An Idiot Abroad last night, the Peru episode. For me, that was the best episode I've seen so far. So, go get yourselves over to, uh, to that and watch that. It's absolutely hilarious. And also, there's a Dmash reaction that I put up on the 31st that got blocked, but now it's been released. And it's really struggling for views, which is really unusual for Dmash reactions on my channel, because, you know, it, they're easily among the highest, look, 4,100, 1,100, 1,700, ooh, big whoop, I know, but they always do well. So, uh, yeah, if, if you can get it, 30 views by this time tomorrow night, then it'll get enough impressions that it'll get picked up and go on one of its, you know, little own trajectories like they always do when they get a few views and then they get picked up. That's all I need you to do. So if 20 of you go and watch it, it'll help somewhere. So if you can do that, then please do that. It, I mean, it, even if you haven't seen it before, then you'll be discovering him too. And there's also a couple of other videos that need a v views. Uh, this one, Ill Mind of Hopton, number one, my reaction to it. Go check that out. And if it starts getting picked up, then I'll make it into a series. Oof. The Paper Straws video, go check that out. Um, and the Patreon. Bear with me. So here's the movie poll. Up is still winning. And Father Ted, mind your language. That's fantastic. Let me show. There it is. So that's the one that got blocked. It's there, available. Uh, we finished Gimme, Gimme, Gimme um, on the 26th as well. And the next episode of Bottom will be coming soon as well, as you can see. First episode is right there. So I'll be doing that soon. And the giveaway. And also remember, when you join, you don't pay anything for the first seven days. You get it free. You get like a trial. And at the end of the seven days, they say, do you, want, do you want to join properly? And if you don't want to, you can be like, no, no. But I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to. There's more content on here than there is on YouTube. And it's all good stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this was a really good episode. Typical antics. <laughs> this is a great... I, I love these guys. It's amazing how, it, how fresh it does feel, even though I remembered that bit at the door step. It does feel brand new every time. It's that good. <sighs> so, there we go. I hope everyone's having a fantastic week so far. And, uh, oh, and another thing. Um, I mentioned it last night. I did a shout out in a video last night because one of my uh, most loyal and most amazing subscribers and patrons, her son Jesse, started high school yesterday. So I, I gave him a shout out, and that's going to be a new thing on the channel. If you've you know started a new job or moved house, or if your kids started college or a new school or whatever, you know, big life events, and you'd like to, especially if it's like your your kid, and you'd like to surprise them with, you know, I. I I don't know, I'm not, I don't have a million subscribers, but if if it gets a few people commenting and saying, oh, well done, sort of thing, if you want to surprise them, or if you just, you know, if you'd like a shout out, for stuff like that, then, yeah, I'm willing to do that. But, 
to a certain point, you know, I'm not shouting you out if you manage to, you know, vacuum every carpet in your house before 12 o'clock. <laughs> not, not those kind of things. I mean, real life achievements, you know. <laughs> Because I just know I'm going to get messages now. But I'm, I'm, I, I hope I do actually. I hope I get people taking the piss. You know, people say, "Oh, I've just had me, I've just had my first shite of the day before ten o'clock. Can I get a shout out, please?" You know, I hope I get messages like that on Facebook. <laughs> anyway, the link to the Facebook page is in the about section of the channel, as well as the TikTok. Go check that out and the Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this if you enjoyed it and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Good night.